Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how you see them versus who they really are for the person on your mind. Please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Take a look at all three piles with your person in mind and see which one you are most drawn to. For pile number one, we have Green Opal with the Muse Tarot. For pile number two, we have Tiger's Eye with the Mythos Tarot. And for pile three, we have Larimar with the Light Seer's Tarot. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that's standing out to you the most. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the Green Opal Crystal and the Muse Tarot then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and how you see them versus who they truly are. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I'd also like to say I do have a limited amount of space for personal readings. If you would like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. Okay, so on one side, we're going to do, on this side, we're going to do how you see them. And then on this side, we're going to do who they really are. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number ones. Spirit guides of pile number ones, how they see the person on their mind, how they see the person on their mind. We have the seven of cups showing up first. We have the six of swords in the reverse. How they see them. The page of cups. So who this person truly is, who they really are, we have the Two of Cups, who this person really is, Justice, and the Page of Wands. We'll pull more cards as we go along. The Nine of Swords is at the back of the deck. Okay, so how you see them with the Seven of Cups here, um, I sort of feel for some of you, you know, if you're asking about a romantic person, a romantic partner of any kind, you know, maybe, or somebody you're interested in romantically, maybe there's something about you believing that maybe they could have many options open, but actually, I actually feel with who they really are, there's somebody really loyal they only stick with one person. They're a really romantic person with the Two of Cups here and with Justice here. They're also really honest, so they wouldn't ever try to deceive you or, you know, like have have their options open in a way. You know, I don't see them being that type of person if that was a concern or worry of yours since the Nine of Swords is at the back of the deck. If you're asking about a friend... You know, maybe you see them as somebody that has many friends. Um, and I actually see them being somebody really romantic. I see them being somebody really in touch with their heart. You know, when they love, they love deeply. That's what I see with the Two of Cups. And they're also really honest with justice here, with you and with other people in their life. So you can really trust them. So that's the first thing I see right off the bat. With the Seven of Cups here too, I also feel like Maybe you see this person as somebody with big dreams, goals, and aspirations, different desires they want to hone in on. However, with the Six of Swords reverse, maybe you see this person as somebody that is afraid of change um, or scared to take that first leap, maybe even scared to ask for help. Maybe you see this person as somebody that rather tries to do things on their own, maybe because they never had that support or help from others before in their life. I think that this person is a very, you know, like relationship orientated type of person. They love having people around them. Um, but for some of you, this person may have felt controlled within their life. 
And so they've learned to sometimes only trust in themselves. I think this person has a lot of fear of trusting people and letting people in. And so they do things independently. I'm looking at the cats here and I'm thinking of independence and learning to do things on my own because I couldn't rely on anybody around me. So that is what I see in terms of who they really are. Like they may be so independent because they haven't exactly been able to trust the people around them so they had to learn to do things on their own and get by on their own to be honest in terms of who this person really is I do think that they have a lot of fears and it's sort of like they have a fear of success but then at the same time they have a fear of you know like going through challenges which is maybe why sometimes they don't put themselves out there even when they want to you know, like in terms of the things they want in life, their goals, their dreams, their wishes. With the page of cups and the page of wands here, you know, you may see this person as a very youthful person, like either they're really young in age or they really have a youthful spirit. They could be really playful, very, you could see this person as very in touch with their heart, which is true because the heart to see and the two of cups is here. Um, and you could see this person as somebody that's yeah like very playful maybe even in touch with their emotions you could sometimes see this person as somebody that kind of like wears their heart on their sleeve in truth of that they are somebody like that but they're also somebody really discerning at first and with the page of wands here I do think that in terms of who they truly are they are that very youthful person like they do have that youthful spirit they are somebody that loves to express themselves in different ways they're very passionate about the things they want to do in life the things they want to achieve in life about life in general they're not somebody that could be put in a box they're very unique and with the rainbow he hair here I kind of feel like this person's very different from others you know, they may have felt very different, but I think their uniqueness makes them stand out in some way in terms of their personality. This person is really somebody that wants to stand up for the people around them. They could be very protective of the people around them in terms of who they really are. And I see them being somebody that wants to grow and gain awareness of their fears and overcome that. I see this person having a lot more strength than they realize. Okay, so let's get more cards. Um, the world was popping out for how you see them. How does pile number one see the person on their mind? We have temperance. And we have the Six of Wands. So you may see this person's potential to create success, to achieve certain things. But you may also see them as a the type of person that may need to sort of like get over this fear little by little. Not, not in a way where you're looking at it like, oh, just get over this fear. But you may be looking at it as slowly but surely you can get over this fear slowly but surely you can you know put yourself out there in terms of the things you want in life as you're looking at this person's energy and it's kind of like with these this moth here I see that maybe you see this person transforming regardless of their fear of change because the six of swords is in reverse opposite this um, and the lotus flower is also here representing rebirth. So maybe you see this person as somebody that is rebirthing but and changing as a person, transforming as a person, but may try to resist that themselves. And it may take patience and time for them to get where they want, but maybe you see this person's heart and how they have that potential to create success. But not only that, they also have a good heart. So they do use that success in the best possible way and not use it out of greed or selfishness or anything like that. Um, I hope that makes sense, but that's what I'm seeing in terms of how you see them. 
So who this person really is, we have the Hermit. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Knight of Wands. So in terms of who this person really is, I see a lot of ambitiousness here. I really do, but I see something about this person. How do I say this? Mm, I think sometimes they may be kind of mean to themselves. They're, they're, you know, they have such a kind heart when it comes to people around them. But sometimes when it comes to this person's self, they can be quite mean to themselves. I see them being quite talented at something. Or, you know, they have the skills to master. They have certain skills that they can master, is what I'm trying to say. That will allow them to reach success of any kind within their life. But maybe they don't see themselves as talented in any, any way. Maybe they don't see themselves as, you know, like having any types of skills. Um, but I think with the hermit here, this person is trying to look within and trying to be self-aware, trying to find themselves, go on a journey of self-introspection. With the hermit opposite the two of cups, who they really are is maybe they're somebody that is like introverted extroverted like maybe they're a little bit more introverted but around the people they love they let that self-expression come out i see this person having a duality to them like two sides to them okay but it's not in a two-faced way or any kind of fake way they just are a very multi-dimensional person so next we have the seven of wands representing this person how pile number one sees them. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this reading so far, and if you would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I'm so, so, so grateful for you. And I hope you're enjoying this reading so far. So the first card we have is Strength Reverse for this person, um, how you see them. We have the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like with the Strength Reverse card, they do have that strength, but maybe you see them as somebody that does not see it within themselves, does not see their own potential, their own resilience, you know, how they're able to have that potential to move forward in life. And it's kind of like... Maybe this person sometimes views themselves as like, I'm nothing special, because that's what I'm hearing in my mind. When in actual fact, I actually think that this person, I think you see their potential deep down, and I think your perception of them is quite accurate in some ways. Um, I think you see the parts of them that they may not see within themselves, like the good parts of them shining out, if that makes sense. And that is, that's often what happens sometimes. We don't see the best sides of us that other people see in us, the people we love. So that's what I'm getting from these three cards. So who they truly are. We have the five of pentacles. And the ten of wands. So this person's an extremely hard worker. Um, you know, when they go through challenges, they try to not, they try to not back down from it or let that scare them away. But this person has gone through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of challenge in life. Um, you know, maybe there's even something about experiencing a lack of something within their life with the five of pentacles. This can be money. This can be a lack of support or love. Um, it can literally be anything, but they may have felt like they lacked something within life. Five of Pentacles. And with the Ten of Wands, you know, when they rarely love somebody, they pour their whole heart and soul out to that person. They do so much for that person. So this is who I see this person being. Sometimes they have a tendency to people please and overgive more than they can give. 
Um, and I think this person sometimes needs to fill their own cup up first before they pour out everything to everyone around them. But I think sometimes this person has maybe learned to put themselves last in terms of who they truly are. And again, I see them being a very hard worker. You know, when they really want something, they put in the extra effort. They go the extra mile towards that, even if it's challenging in the moment based off that goal they have in mind, based off that ambition they have. And that's a really good trait I see in terms of who they really are. So, how pile number one sees them, the three of pentacles in the reverse, the queen of swords, and the magician in the reverse. Do you see this person as manipulative? Is this true? Awakening. Three of Cups reversed, Knight of Swords. Hmm, let me pull one more card, the Five of Swords. Okay, so I think this person has done certain things within their life that they're not proud of. You know, you may have seen the hidden aspects within them, within their shadow side, and you may have not wanted to see that. It may have been an eye-opening moment for you, you know, because I, I feel like this person has a light side to them and a shadow side to them. And I feel like they're becoming self-aware of this with the Awakening card. Um, they're realizing why it was here in the first place, why the shadow trait was here in the first place. I... I don't know if this person was manipulative on purpose, but with the Knight of Swords, I feel like they can be, they can sometimes do without thinking. And I think this person is realizing that sometimes they just do things and don't think about the consequences thereafter. And I think maybe this person may have tried to avoid accountability out of fear of them looking bad or admitting their faults. Because once you admit your own faults, you become aware of them and you have to actually work on them. You know, you have to actually keep yourself accountable. Um, and so maybe it's partly true. It is true, but I feel like it's deeper for this person than just doing this. I hope this makes sense. I'm not trying to make excuses for this person, but when I look into the energy in terms of who they truly are, I don't see that they're a bad person, but I see that they have a lot of pain and hurt that they've been through in life, and they may have picked up on some subconscious patterns due to the pain and hurt they've been through in life. I see this person becoming self-aware of this and trying to fix this within themselves. So again, I'm seeing like two aspects of them, the light aspect and the shadow aspect. I think this person has felt very helpless within their life where they felt like they couldn't overcome the challenges they were going through. The Three of Cups reverse, Five of Swords. This person may have done something they're not proud of. You know, they may have felt like they acted out of character. And I see them regretting it. I see them becoming aware of how their actions may have affected you or somebody else. And I see them trying to not be this way. So whether they do actually um, change this within themselves or not is up to them. It's up to their own free will, but it's what I'm seeing here um, in terms of who they truly are. I want to get more information to bridge the gap here, um, to understand this person more. A few more cards. Why is this energy coming up? The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Cups. And the Tower. Okay, so I think that this person has their own fears, you know, of opening up in relationships due to their own past traumas with the tower here. Um, and I think sometimes this person 
self-sabotages based off those fears they have. They may have felt controlled within their life by the people closest to them. They may have felt controlled in their life by the people closest to them in the past. Um, and sometimes they crave that freedom in their relationships. And they crave the person trusting them, you know. Um, but they themselves sometimes feel it's hard to trust people. And so they sometimes subconsciously self-sabotage relationships due to this fact. It's it's a trait they have that they're aware that is not helpful to their connections anymore. And they are realizing that, you know, if I don't work on this, I'm not going to have good relationships in my life. So I think what you're seeing about this person is true, but I think they are becoming aware of it. And I don't think it was something maliciously done to you or other people in terms of how you see this person. Um, but this is what I'm seeing here. So this is your reading pile number one. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this tiger's eye crystal in the Mythos Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at how you see them versus who they really are for the person on your mind. Please be aware that this is a general reading, so only take or resonates, lead the rest. I also do want to say before I get started, I do have a limited amount of space for personal readings, so if you would like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So on this side, we're going to do how you see them. On this side, we're going to do who they truly are, okay? Spirit guides of pile number twos. Spirit guides of pile number twos. How pile number two sees them, the person on their mind. We have the nine of wands. How they see the person on their mind. We have the temperance card. For some reason, as I shuffle my cards, my desk is shaky. Sorry about that. Page of Wands reverse. Um, and then I feel this card, the world. I'll add it in a bit. Um, it's on the side. I just want to look at these first. So who they really are. We have judgment in reverse. We have the five of swords. Uh, I don't like this energy. Um, and we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, I'll add more cards as we go along, along with that world card that came out here. So, how you see them. Okay, as I looked at this Nine of Wands card, I heard difficult person and I just saw the number 1111 on the clock. So maybe that's confirmation. Maybe you see this person as a difficult person to deal with, a challenging person to deal with. Um, maybe they have challenging aspects to their personality that just don't match up with yours. Do you know what I'm seeing clairvoyantly? You know when they use those tools and then it kind of makes fire. I'm seeing that clairvoyantly. Um, when they kind of go against each other and it just makes this weird sound that doesn't sound nice. So I, I don't know if I'm making sense the way I'm explaining this. But what I'm basically getting from that is you and this person may butt heads. They may grind your gears. They may really irritate you. They may really get on your nerves sometimes and it's sort of like you two, your personalities sometimes don't mix well. I feel like you both have strong personalities and again, it's it's the feeling of you two butting heads in some way. Um, so with a page of wands in reverse and temperance, I'm looking at her body language here where her arms are crossed. So you may see this person, um, here we see an armor. You may see this person as very guarded and closed off in some way, very reserved with their body language. And you, you may see them as somebody that guards their heart in some way. 
doesn't allow anybody to get close to their heart or doesn't allow themselves to get vulnerable with people. Um, and you may see them as somebody that sees that vulnerability as a weakness. And as I say that, I feel like coughing. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's um, because coughing is like the throat chakra energy. Maybe it's hard for you to admit that you see this person like that. Um, but that's what I see. With the page of wands reverse, maybe you see this person as somebody that has either lost passion for life or has lost has lost hope I'm hearing within life like I'm hearing lost soul and I, I'm clairvoyantly seeing Ursula when she sings that song poor unfortunate soul with a movie with the recent Little Mermaid movie so maybe this person maybe you see them as somebody that is a little bit lost right now they've lost their way they've lost their path and I feel like maybe you see this person's wounded inner child that is calling for them to heal that aspect of self. Maybe you see their difficult personality, but you also see the wounded inner child within them that is hurt, that is waiting for them to listen to them and heal them. Okay, we're going to move on. If I get anything else from how you see them, I'm going to come back to this with who they truly are. Judgment in reverse. What am I getting from this? I'm hearing poor judgment, poor decisions. You know, maybe there's somebody that has made poor decisions in their life, poor judgment. And I'm kind of getting the feeling from this person, from these cards, you know, sometimes they make mistakes, but they don't learn from their mistakes. Um, you know, this person may say sorry, but they don't fully learn why they are the way they are. They're different to pile one in a way where they're not self-aware. And I feel like this person has trouble taking accountability because the devil is one of the cards. The devil in reverse was one of the cards that came out with this spread. I'm going to add the world now to the side. Um, so with the devil reverse, it's like this person has trouble taking accountability. You know, maybe they can say sorry, um, because I don't feel like they're somebody that won't say sorry, but they also don't fully change this thing about them. You know, like if they hurt somebody in a relationship or you, it's like they don't fully change this thing about themselves. I think with the five of swords, um, I'm hearing that they push people away, like the people they love, they push them away. And I think why these messages are coming up here with the five of swords, you know, this person is not really a trustworthy person in terms of who they really are. And the high priestess is popping out in reverse here. And I feel like this is a message for you, not them. Hopefully you can see that. But I feel with this high priestess reverse, this is about the the reason why this message is coming through is because maybe you see this intuitively about this person, but you're doubting your own intuition or you're or you're in denial of your own intuition of who this person really is. You know, I don't think this person's a bad person, pile two, but I also just don't think they're somebody that can be trusted, right now at least, because it's like this person makes certain choices that hurts the people around them, or that creates conflict with the people around them, but they're also not looking within or changing this aspect of self. I think this person is a real softy deep inside, but they prevent, they stop people from seeing that soft part of them. It's like they have this hard exterior where you may see them as like quite tough and intimidating, but, um, or people may see them as that, but inside they're a real softy, but they don't let people see that softness within because maybe they perceive it as a weakness or something that 
they can't show. And again, I'm being brought back to the wounded inner child. But it's not your responsibility to heal this person's inner child, pile number two. Even if you can see their wounded inner child, you know, if this message resonates with you so far, please don't be in denial of this aspect of this person's self because... Again, um, they're not showing up as somebody you can trust at least right now. So how does pile number two see them? We have the hanged man. And we have the three of wands. Who they really are. Knight of wands. And the three of cups. So we have the Eight of Pentacles with Chiron at the back of the deck. I think that in the future, something may cause them to actually heal and look within. But I think that's going to happen when they're on their own. Because I'm seeing the Hermit clairvoyantly. So I feel like right now they've gotten very comfortable and they're not wanting to heal and that's a thing with people like this. You know, we can see their wounded inner child. We can feel empathy for them because we know they're not a bad person, but maybe the way they were brought up, their own hurt and pain causes them to become a person that hurts us in some way or just isn't the most trustworthy, you know. Um, but it's almost like this person is not wanting to heal, so we can't force them to heal, you know, if they don't want to. They have to want to do it themselves. And I think that's where the problem lies here. If this is a friend of yours, you know, I think they could be a good friend to you, but then there's also this feeling of them getting in the way of themselves. So it's not that they're a bad person again, but they're just a really wounded person. And they they lack taking accountability or learning from their past mistakes. And that's the problem here. I think the reason why they lack accountability, why they have trouble taking accountability is because of pride and ego and their own hurt and disappointment that they have to acknowledge, but they don't want to acknowledge. Because I'm feeling this person's heartbreak in my heart chakra, in terms of who they really are. So with the lion here, I'm getting pride, ego, because we have the devil reverse here. So I'm reading it like this. This person can sometimes be a little bit impulsive, like they don't think before they do. And that's kind of what I'm seeing in terms of who they really are. Again, it's like they have this tough exterior warrior, warrioress energy. But then inside they're a big softy, but they don't let people in to see that soft side of them. They could be a very social person, you know, in terms of who they really are, like a people's person. They love being around people. And I also see them being very ambitious, you know, wanting to succeed in life, create certain milestones for themselves or celebrations for themselves in their life. And I see them wanting to take on challenges head on, um, having that pure strength within them. So that's what I see in terms of who they truly are. I think this person will eventually heal. But at the same time, I think they're scared to look within. And maybe in their mind, they think that there's nothing wrong with them. But I think I'm seeing the tower card in my mind's eye. Maybe a tower moment will happen that will cause this person to wake up and see what they need to heal within. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this reading so far, and if you would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that supports my channel and watches, and I'm hoping you have a wonderful day. Do you know what quote I'm hearing as I look at this Three of Cups card? 
show me who your friends are, something along those lines, and it will show you who that person is. So whoever this person hangs out with, look at who they're friends with, look at who they hang out with and you're gonna see their true colors through that. So in terms of how you see this person, I think you see this person as somebody that um, can create inner peace if they were to look within and find the wisdom within. And I do think that you see this person's goodness within that not many people may have seen. Again, I feel like you see through this tough exterior that they have. I think you see the inner softness within them. And I think that you see why they are the way they are. What created this version of them. Um, this energy. So I think you see this person's potential to let go of this, heal and gain the wisdom from this. And that's what I'm seeing from the world, the hangman, the three of wands. And, you know, the thing is, it's it's not a bad thing to see somebody's potential, to see their light within, to see the good parts of them shining out. It's not a bad thing at all, because when you imagine that, it's not a bad thing at all. You know, I see you having a lot of empathy and compassion towards this person. And it's not a bad thing at all because when you imagine them like that, you are manifesting them to transform into their ideal self, their highest potential. When you can imagine them as their highest potential, they start to become that. But the problem here is when they are hurting you or the problem here is if this affects you in a negative way in terms of their shadow traits, in terms of like who they truly are of what I mentioned here. So I think that's something that I'm concerned about for you, pile number two. Please don't get sucked into something that isn't good for your mental health at the end of the day. Um, if you see that this person isn't treating you right or if you just see that this isn't good for you, this relationship, then I just suggest taking a break from this until this person can until you see this person heal or change in some way. Because it's also not fair to you to be, you know, like their emotional punching bag or to receive the negative sides of their personality. I hope that makes sense. So how does pile number two see them? We have the nine of swords in the reverse. We have king of swords. So you may see them as a very fearful person, but they're scared to admit that. And the Page of Cups, again, you see their wounded inner child that hasn't exactly felt happy. And I feel like the Page of Cups here represents their inner child. I feel like with the King of Swords, maybe you see this person as an extremely logical, rational person. Um... Maybe you see them as somebody that's not too emotional or not. Like, I, I feel like when you look at this person, maybe you see them as somebody that doesn't think healing is important, but more so focuses on the physical aspects of life or the more logical sides to life rather than emotions and heartbreak and pain. Okay, so who this person really is... We have the Six of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles. So I think your perception of them is quite accurate. Um, I feel like the way you're seeing their wounded inner child, it's true. It's showing up here within who they truly are. And I think they are scared of, you know, like, changing something about themselves, of looking within, um, because there's something you're about, like, if this person actually looks within, it might change something for them. I don't know what that's about, but it's coming through. So with the Six of Wands in terms of who they really are, I think they put a lot of emphasis or importance on 
physical or financial success or their successes, their achievements in life. Um, I even see that here with the world. Maybe you see them as somebody that wants to achieve big things. Maybe they are really ambitious with the Knight of Wands. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Maybe you see them as somebody really strategic with the King of Swords where they think of good ideas in terms of how to create that success for themselves. And I do see that. So I think your perception of them is pretty accurate. What am I getting from this Seven of Cups reverse? Why is it reversed? I'm hearing that this person may not see their own potential that you see within them. I'm also seeing with the Seven of Cups reverse, it's like there's many opportunities around them to heal their inner child since it's next to the Page of Pentacles. Um, so for example, let's say somebody triggers a certain emotion within them. That's an opportunity for them to heal their inner child and acknowledge their inner child, but they're just not. So they've received countless opportunities to heal their inner child through other people, through triggers, um, things like that, but they haven't actually done anything about it. Okay, let's get some more cards. Oops. So Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands. How pile number two sees them, the Tower. So yeah, you see the trauma, the pain they've gone through in life and how they're not working on this with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I'm also reading these cards intuitively, not just based on the tarot card meanings, um, just based on how it makes sense for me as I'm in this energy. So who they really are, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Emperor. The Star in Reverse and the Four of Cups. So I think with this person, I think you see them as somebody very fun to be around with the Four of Wands, maybe even the life of the party, maybe like a very social person with the King of Swords opposite the Four of Wands, and your perception of them is quite accurate. But um, the sun in reverse is popping out here. So there's something about this person acting very fun in public, but um, most of the time they feel like they're not happy with where their life is going or where they're at right now. I think they place a lot of value on their financial success, their financial stability with the Two of Pentacles. Um, and I think they place a lot of value on trying to control the aspects of life where they're not happy. Um, but I almost feel like this isn't giving them the happiness they think it's going to give them. With the star in reverse and the three of swords popping out, the only thing that's going to give them that sense of happiness or fulfillment is going within and healing, but they're not doing that with the star reverse. And I think that they're losing hope with the Star Reverse. And that's kind of what I'm seeing about this person. And I feel bad for this person, actually, that they're losing hope. But it's sort of like the answers are right in front of them, but they're looking outside of them rather than looking within. Like they're looking outside of them for fulfillment rather than looking within. And the Four of Cups here tells me like, no matter what they try to find outside of them, no matter how they try to control their external reality, it's still not gonna give them the satisfaction they want. What's, own, what's going to give them the satisfaction is releasing control. Um, because I feel like this person tries to control everything um, and also looking within and healing. So this is what I have for you, pile number twos. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Um, oh, one last thing. King of Cups is at the back of the deck. So although you see this person as like a very logical person, they are an emotional person, but they just don't show it. Um, so that's what I'm feeling about this person. So I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. 
Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this Laramar crystal in the Light Sears Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at how you see them versus who they really are for the person on your mind. Please be aware that this is a general reading, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, I'd just like to say I do have a limited amount of space for personal readings available. If you'd like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So when I was about to start your reading, I saw 111 on the camera's timer and 11.44 on the clock. That may be a significant angel number for somebody here. So on the left side, we're going to take a look at how you see them and then on the right side we're going to take a look at who they really are so spirit guides of pile number threes spirit guides of pile number threes how they see this person on their mind how do they see this person on their mind we have the nine of cups we have the six of cups And we have the King of Pentacles. So who they really are. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Hermit. So we'll pull more cards as we go along. Let's just look at these ones so far. We do have the Knight of Swords in the reverse at the back of the deck. So with the Six of Cups showing up here and the Nine of Cups, I'm kind of getting this intuitive feeling that maybe this person was somebody you wanted around you in the past. But as I look at this Knight of Cups reverse, I'm almost getting the feeling like I heard like not my Prince Charming or, you know, like not my princess, you know, like if I just had to use as as an example. It's like maybe in the past you saw this person as somebody you wanted to be with. Um, whether this is a platonic or romantic connection or whatever type of connection, maybe you really wanted them around you. Maybe in the past you thought that they matched up to what you wanted in some kind of connection. But maybe now you're looking at it and it doesn't align to what you want right now. But maybe you wanted it in the past. Um, and how you see this person is quite accurate to how they are. I do see a lot of earth energy with this person. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And um, I also see some water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But mostly earth energy. Especially Virgo here with the Hermit. Um, and I'm kind of getting with the King of Pentacles. You see this person as somebody that, you know, has big dreams and goals with the Nine of Cups. Maybe even a childhood dream with the Six of Cups um, to make it big within their finances. Or some kind of childhood dream where they want to create financial success from. You may see this person as extremely grounded and rational very down to earth, loyal, and you may see this person as somebody that's also very knowledgeable, um, very educated, and they're going to use their education to make their dreams come true, their wishes come true. And in terms of who this person really is, I don't think they're much of a romantic person with the Knight of Cups reverse. They're more of a practical person where I feel like your perception of them is quite accurate. Um, I feel like, yeah, they're not much of a romantic person. They're more of a practical person. With the Seven of Pentacles, they're somebody that really is a hard worker. Um, you know, they're not romantic when it comes to the people they love, but they do put an effort and they are consistent with that. So that's what I see with this person. The consistency may not resonate with all of you though. And I do see that there's somebody that also puts in a, a lot of hard work towards their dreams, goals, and desires. With the Hermit here, I think they're a very self-aware person. They know themselves very well. There's nothing you can tell this person about themselves that they don't already know. 
I think this person knows what they need to work on within. I think they know also what they need to do to create this abundance for themselves. They're a deep thinker, very intellectual, so your perception of them is quite accurate. And they're also going on a journey of self-introspection, getting to know other parts of themselves that they may have not discovered yet, that are deep within their roots, or going back to their roots, their ancestors, something like that, or finding hidden personality traits within themselves that were always there but yet to discover. So I see them being on that journey right now. I see them being somebody that plans, that, you know, wants organization. They don't just rush into things. They really make sure they have a plan before they just go into something head first. So that's what I see about who they really are. Let's get some more cards. So how does pile number three see them? We have death and rebirth. So you may be seeing them as somebody that's currently going through a rebirth or wanting to go through a rebirth, a change. Okay, then we have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Chariot. Strength is also popping out. So you may see this person as an extremely resilient person, extremely strong. You know, like even when they go through challenges in life, they do have... They do have the strength and the resilience to overcome it, whatever challenges they go through in life. You may even see them as a very passionate person, maybe a very sensual person as well. Like a very like physical, touchy kind of person. I don't know, I'm getting that for those asking about a romantic um, kind of interest or past romantic interest. You may see them as somebody that has gone through a lot in life, and that's kind of in all three piles, but they're also strong enough to move um, past that, because I feel like you see them as somebody that, you know, kind of has an idea of where they need to heal, where they need to rebirth, change something within themselves, what they're holding on to mentally, subconsciously, but they're also not that type of person that wallows in their pain. That's how you're seeing them currently. And I keep seeing this feeling of like overcoming the things I've gone through, overcoming the challenges in life, you know, having the strength to create that financial abundance and that change that we want. So you may see this person's potential to reach their goals and desires and their strengths, you know, their talents. And that's what I see in terms of how you see this person. So who this person really is. We also have some Leo energy here. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. So... Although you see this person as really strong, they are a very fearful person. Um, and sometimes their mind has this way of manipulating them and making them feel like they can't create that change they want in life. We have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. But I don't feel the Seven of Swords is who they are. I feel like it's more so how their mind affects them at times. So sometimes our mind can manipulate us with our fears. Like, you know, sometimes our mind can tell us, you know, like, I'm not good enough for success. You know, like, I'm not even good enough to create the success for myself. You know, what makes me think I can um, be successful at this? Or um, I don't think this person likes me, but me now, this person likes me. So with the Knight of Cups reversed opposite the Nine of Swords, a lot of their fears may come in the way of them truly showing their feelings to the people they love. Um, with the Ace of Cups reversed at the back of the deck, there's this feeling of this person. It's not that they're not a loving person, but they have a hard time sharing their emotions with others and they have a hard time sharing what they feel to others because their mind kind of deceives them and tells them that person doesn't like them. And I think 
there's this feeling of them wanting to change this within themselves. There's this feeling of them being aware of themselves and wanting to feel secure within themselves. But they do also know that they need to change something. Um, maybe change the way they think about things. Become more aware of it. Um, change the way they're thinking into something more positive whenever those negative thoughts do come up. So again, there's somebody that's very self-aware of how their mind works and how it might, I don't want to say deceive them because I feel like it's the mind protecting itself from what it's scared of, but that's just kind of how it's coming through. So how does pile number three see this person? We have the page of wands. And we have the Three of Cups. Who they really are. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this reading so far, and if you would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I'm so, so, so grateful for you, and I hope you're having an amazing day so far. So the first card we have is a two of cup, uh, two of pentacles, not two of cups. I don't know why I said two of cups. <laughs> And then we have the lovers. And then we have temperance. Okay, so even though they're not really that type of person that shows like romantic gestures and their love to people in general, they are a very romantic person with the lovers here. So I know that kind of contradicts what I said earlier. Maybe I was reading it in the wrong way. Maybe they don't seem like a romantic person or they have a hard time, you know, like doing romantic gestures for the people they're in romantic connections with. But there is still a feeling of deep down they are still romantic. They are still a loving person. Um, but even when it comes to their friendships, they have a hard time expressing that and showing that to the other person. And I'm almost getting with this two of pentacles. It's like an invisible side of them you don't see with this pentacle kind of looking invisible. I'm getting that message intuitively. I do think they are a very balanced person since two of pentacles and temperance came up and they may have they may have recently been thinking about how they can heal um, their fears and face their fears because with the red here I'm kind of thinking of courage and like that strength we are wanting to tap into um, that root chakra energy where it's like this person can feel secure within themselves without their thoughts um, preventing them from doing the, what they actually want. So I hope that makes sense, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. I, I see this person's trying to work on this aspect of themselves. And I think this person actually has a very pure soul. They're very angelic in some way. And I think they may have felt very misunderstood within their life. You know, I think a lot of the times they did things out of a place of love and people misunderstood their intentions. Um, maybe because it doesn't always come across the way they want it to. So, for example, let's say this person says to a friend, you know, like, says something to this person where they're being honest, but it's out of a place of love and care for that person. And then that friend is like, oh, F you, you know, like, you're really mean. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. But it was out of a place of love and genuine care for that person. Um, so I think sometimes this person can be very honest as well. Um, but again, like, it's like people kind of misinterpret their intentions. And this is how I see this person, like, in terms of who they really are. Although they're very pure, they also have a duality to them. And I feel like they are integrating their shadow traits and learning from it. I actually really like this person's energy in terms of who they really are, but it, earlier I mentioned something about this person, like maybe you felt like in the past they were somebody you wanted to be with romantically or friendship wise, but maybe now you're not. And for some of you, you resonate with that, whereas others of you, you don't. But maybe for some of you, there's this feeling of sometimes I've thought of walking away, but I haven't. 
And I'm still trying to figure out if this person is truly who I want to be with or want to be friends with. Or you're still kind of like pondering on a choice. Whereas for others of you, you do resonate with that where it's like, maybe there's nothing wrong with this person, but maybe you're realizing there's an incompatibility here. I don't know. I'm just getting that for some of you. Take what resonates, lead the rest, pile three. So with the page of wands here in terms of how you see this person, you may see this person again as like very serious and grounded, but they also have their playful side. So they know how to balance that playful side of them to that like very serious, um, hardworking side of them. You may also see this person is very passionate about what it, whatever it is they do. And you may see this person as very talented, but they may not see themselves as that. You may see this person's strengths um, and talents that are hidden within them that they may not see themselves. You may see this person as a good friend, somebody that's fun to be around, fun to celebrate with, you know, go out with. And that's what I'm seeing there. So let's see what else we have. So how pile number three sees this person? We have the Hierophant. You see them as somebody that is learning, growing, ascending, and learning from the lessons they've um, acquired within life and rebirthing from that. And they're successfully overcoming the things they've been through um, and the challenges they've been through. Knight of Pentacles, maybe you see this person as somebody that's very consistent and determined when it comes to their goals and dreams and desires. And we have the Six of Wands here. So you may see this person as somebody that, you know, has the capabilities, the potential to reach their success in life. We have the King of Swords and the King of Cups for how you see this person. And I think you see this person as a very rational, um, grounded person, as I said before, very logical. But at the same time, maybe you see their deeper emotional side that they don't always show everybody. So that's what I'm seeing with the King of Cups, King of Swords. Who is this person really? We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Fool in the Reverse. So I think your perception of them is pretty accurate. Like they are a very serious person. Um... They take things in their life extremely seriously. Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this person may have dealt with feelings of like, there's a lack within childhood of finances and money and stability. So I think this person may put stability as something that's a priority for them, like financial stability. Um, and for them, I see them as a type of person where I see them as a family orientated person, but before they have a family of their own, I see them wanting that success and abundance or even just a sense of comfortability where, you know, I'm able to afford everything I need. Like financial independence is what I'm basically getting with the Nine of Pentacles um, before they have kids of their own. Again, I see them as somebody very ambitious, like in terms of who they really are. Um, I see them as somebody that wants to let go of maybe like the cycles that were put onto them as a child and heal from that so that they give their children a peaceful environment instead of a chaotic environment. And all of a sudden, as I said that, like the light started getting bright from outside. So maybe that's a sign like this person wants to raise their children differently from how they were raised. I see this person as somebody very independent, a go-getter. They're somebody that, you know, likes their alone time sometimes. So I think your perception of them is pretty accurate. I think you may see things within them, like the good parts of them that they may not see themselves as well. And I think you see them as somebody that has the right ideas. You know, like, again, they're somebody that's self-aware. They're somebody that's trying to grow and become a better person. And I think that's a really good thing. 
So I really hope this reading resonated, Pile 3. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.